Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about ratio. Now, a ratio is taken between two or more numbers. Let's say we have these two numbers A and B. So let me first tell you how do you write ratios. Most of you know it. So the ratio of these two numbers is written as A is to B. This pretty sign here, colon, this denotes a ratio. So this is the ratio of A is to B. And a ratio of two terms, in this case A and B, is basically a fraction, which is A divided by B. So this ratio is nothing but A by B. So whenever you have a ratio of two numbers, it is basically a division of those numbers. Let us now look at the terminology which is used in ratios. So this A is basically the first term. The numerator is the first term. And B is a second term. It is called a second term. Now this first term is also called as an antecedent. And the second term is also called a consequent. So you should know these terms. Sometimes there are questions that make use of these terms. So you need to know these. Now there is a property of ratios. Let us assume that you have a ratio of A is to B. Now if you multiply or divide a same term to the first and the second terms, the ratio does not change. So this is basically equals to AX by BX or it is equal to A by X divided by B by X. So we are multiplying or dividing this term X to both the antecedent and the consequent and essentially the ratio does not change. So I can write A is to B is equals to AX is to BX which is again equal to A by X is to B by X. So this is a this is one of the very important properties of ratios. With this let us solve a question. You have a jug that contains a 15 liter mixture of oil and water. What is the ratio of water to oil if there is 10 liters of oil in the mixture. What is asked in this question? Well, the ratio of water to oil is asked. Now we can write this ratio as water, the quantity of water divided by the quantity of oil. And we have the quantity of oil in the mixture which is 10 liters. So divided by 10, we need the quantity of water. So the total volume of this mixture of oil and water is 15 liters. So we have 15 minus we can subtract the amount of oil from that. So we get the volume of water. So 15 minus 10. So this is equal to 5 by 10 and that is 1 by 2. So the ratio is equal to the ratio of water is to oil is equal to 1 is to 2. Let us talk some more things about ratio. So let us assume that we have two numbers in a ratio. Let's say these numbers are A and B. So these are some terms related to ratio and sometimes asked in examinations. So the duplicate ratio of those two numbers is equal to the ratio of the squares of those numbers. So if the numbers are A and B, the duplicate ratio of those numbers is a square is to B square. In similar fashion, if you have two numbers and you want the triplicate ratio of that, of those numbers, so it is equal to the ratio of their cubes. So we have A cube is to B cube. And if you want the subduplicate ratio of those two numbers, it is the ratio of their roots. So under root A is to under root B is the subduplicate ratio. And in the same manner, the subtriplicate ratio is the ratio of cube roots. So you have cube root of A is to cube root of B as the subtriplicate ratio. Another term that is related to ratios is the compounded ratio. So if you have three ratios given to you, the compounded ratio of these three ratios or if you have been given any number of ratios is equal to the ratio of their first terms to the second terms. 
So the first terms are A, C and E. So we have them in the numerator A, C and E, the product of them. And in the denominator we have B, D and F, that is the second terms. So that's what we have in this video for ratios. More will be explained when we solve the problems.